Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about something you may have already noticed, and that is that Carol can't turn right. So let's revisit the build a tower problem. So you may have gotten to a point in your program where you got Carol to the top of the tower and you needed Carol to face east, so you might have typed out turn right. And what you probably found is that that doesn't work. Carol can't turn right because Carol doesn't know that command. Carol only knows those original four commands. So instead, what can we do? Well, we can turn left three times, and that achieves the same result. Carol will go from north to west, south, east, and end up facing east. So pretty much Carol turned right. But wouldn't it be nice if you could just say turn right? Don't you wish you could say turn right? That would make the most sense. We're commanding Carol to turn right, and that's what we really mean. We don't want Carol to turn left three times. We want Carol to turn right. So how can we make Carol turn right? Well. Introducing functions. Functions are how we teach Carol new words. So what is a function? A function is a way to teach Carol a new word. So we can break away from those original four, move, turn left, take ball, and put ball, and we can start teaching Carol brand new commands. And you might hear various names for functions. They're sometimes called functions or procedures or tasks or processes, but in this course, we'll mostly be calling them functions. So we want to teach Carol how to turn right. We want to teach Carol a new command. So how can we do that? Well, this is how we teach Carol to turn right. We write function, turn right, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly brace, and then the actual recipe, the instructions for turning right, which is turning left three times. And then we close the function with a close curly brace. And that's a lot. So let, let's break this down. Let's dissect the syntax for a function. So here is the name of the function. Whatever we want Carol to learn, this is what we put as the name, right before the open parentheses, close parentheses. Now, everything in between the curly braces is called the function body. And this is the actual instructions for the function. This is the instructions for this command. So this is the function body. To turn right, what do you do? You turn left three times. And that is how we teach Carol to turn right. So let's see some examples of this in action. So here we have a program that has Carol build a tower. So let's see what happens when we run this code. OK, so Carol makes it to the top of the tower, but Carol is facing north when he should be facing east. So how can we make Carol face east? Well, what we could do is make Carol turn right. But if, if you tried this, you may have found. So if we click Enter, we can actually type out our own command. Let's try typing out turn right. If we do this reset it and try to run, uh oh, we get an error. Carol doesn't know how to turn right. Is there another way we can solve this? So turning right's not going to work. So instead, what we can do is we can turn left. You see, if I type a proper command, it'll actually turn red. If we turn left three times, now Carol solves the problem. But we don't really want to turn left three times. We want Carol to turn right. So let's teach Carol how to turn right. Instead of doing this, let's delete these and go over to the functions area. We will teach Carol how to turn right using functions. So we go over to this area. There's two different blocks. This is for teaching Carol the function, and this is for telling Carol to actually do it. So first, let's teach Carol to turn right. We'll drag this out. We're going to write a function called turn right. And inside the function, we write the function body. We write the actual instructions for how Carol should go about turning right. So to turn right, all you have to do is turn left three times. So let's drag this out, turn left, turn left, turn left. And now it's defined. Let's see what happens when we run this. So nothing happens. Carol makes it to the last move and then doesn't actually turn right. That's because we've taught Carol how to turn right, but we haven't actually told Carol to do it yet. So to tell Carol to actually turn right now that it's defined, we drag out this blue block and actually type out turn right. So now we get to the end and we tell Carol to turn right. Let's see what happens when we run this. Carol turns left three times. Awesome. So if we switch to code view, we can actually see what's going on here. So if we go line by line, let's pause it here. Carol puts down a ball, moves to the top, and we're about to turn right. So when we get to the turn right command, this is, a, this is a brand new command. Carol doesn't know this by default. So Carol looks to see if it's defined as a function. And since there's a function right there, turn right, that is the code that starts getting executed. So Carol will turn left, turn left, 
and turn left. And then Carol ends up turning right. Awesome. So that is how we can teach Carol to turn right. Now it's your turn.